Welcome to the Kony App Factory tutorial series. This is the first video of a series of videos to help you get your projects up and running with the Kony App Factory CI CD services. This video will provide an overview of the App Factory, familiarize you with the App Factory console, and create your first App Factory project. The Kony App Factory is a combination of agile processes and agile tooling that allow you to quickly create and deploy apps using Kony's market-leading omni-channel platform for development. A key aspect of this tooling are the App Factory CI CD services that allow developers to continuously integrate, test, and deliver applications using an automated set of services. This diagram illustrates the processes and tooling behind the App Factory. The App Factory uses proven best-of-breed solutions such as GitHub, for source control, Jenkins for build management, and the AWS Device Farm for testing across Android, iOS, Windows, and desktop apps. To begin the process, developers check their code into their Git repository. At this point, the App Factory can automatically build an app on the committed code, or per a defined schedule like a nightly build or even a manual push for the build process. Once a build is complete, the App Factory sends the device binaries and test ng based Appium test scripts to the AWS device farm for testing. The end result is a complete end to end solution for developing, deploying, and testing your apps. Let's look at the App Factory console and get our first app configured. Here's the main screen in the Kony App Factory. In the center of the screen, I can see any projects that I've configured. On the left, there are a number of options that allow us to see who has access to our projects our past build history of any projects that we have access to, as well as an overview of the current status of the App Factory, including any projects that are executing and any projects that are in the build queue. Let's get our first project configured so we can start building apps with the App Factory. I'm going to click the Quick Start link and show you how a project is configured. Now, let's run the new App Factory job and create a new App Factory project. On the right-hand side, hit the Run icon. By default, the App Factory comes with a GitHub team repository. I'm going to enter the repository for one of my existing projects here. Notice I'm using the full Git URL with the Git suffix. Normally, I use one visualizer project per repository, but a repository may have multiple visualizer projects stored in a single repo or a repo that requires a custom project root. The project root subdirectory allows me to point to a specific location to find my visualizer project within the Git repo. In my case, I'm going to leave the project root empty. Finally, we need to add an email address or email addresses for users that we want to send the status of the build to when the build is completed. I can always add emails for a build later when I want to run the build, but this is a nice way to set up the project with a default set of email addresses that we want to send build and test results to. Once I'm done, I hit the build button where you can see my project appear in the main console. Now we have our first App Factory project, and we're ready to build some apps using our App Factory CI CD services. Here's a quick recap of the objectives of this video. In this video, we provided an overview of the App Factory CI CD services. We familiarized you with the App Factory console, and we created your first App Factory project. In the next video, I'll walk you through configuring your first build job manually across iOS and Android channels. Thanks again, and please check out our remaining videos at Coney Basecamp.